First step, I'm going to cut off the old fitting. Safety glasses. Hacksaw, tubing cutter, whatever works best for you. All right, at this point, in this case, this hose has an O-ring and a flange seal, which we're going to take off. Because when we go to weld, you want to remove any kind of rubber O-rings. It can't be replaced. So we're removing any old gasket material O-ring. And set those aside. All right, as you can see, after you've cut the old fittings off, you've got a lot of burrs and we need to clean this up. You can use something like Scotch-Brite, even rough sandpaper, but in most cases you'll need a bench grinder with a wire wheel works best. So at this point, we want to go ahead and clean these fittings up in preparation for brazing. Step over here. Now, if you have a wire wheel, you want to carefully do this because aluminum is very soft. It can be easily ruined if you're not careful. Again, using the wire buffer just gets most of the most of the slag and it gets the metal where we can do a better braze job on it. Scotch Bright works well in cleaning up the part you're going to braze. What you want to do is get your tube as clean and dry as possible. That's where your brake parts cleaner comes in handy. Um, for this case, we're just going to spray this cleaner in the fitting to ensure that we get all the refrigerant and any kind of grime, grease, or dirt out of there. And we'll do this. Pay attention not to lose your orientation marks because you're going to need that when you go to recrimp your new fittings. If you have access to shop air, now's a good time to go ahead and take compressed air. Blow that out to make sure we get all the debris out of the tube. All right.